were you impressed by the debut of Lexus King? And what do you think about them not using the Tillman name going this route? Hate it. Okay, Hate explain. it. Uh, I think, I think it walks a fine line of being the next Curtis Axel. Like we all knew Curtis Axel was Mr. Perfect son. Mm-hmm. We, we, we also got a, a similar type of explanation as far as why he went with Curtis Axel. Right. Yes. Um, and well, it wasn't even Curtis Axel at that point. It was Michael McGillicuddy. That's a difference here. Yeah. And he kind of floundered, man. I mean, he he had talent. He had great look too. You know, but like we all knew, we all we all, everyone made a point too. Like, hey, that's Mr. Perfect Son. That's Mr. Perfect Son. Hey, did you know he's Mr. Perfect Son? I, he's Mr. Perfect Son. Do something with it. Like it, it just it, it hurt him more than anything else, and I and I fear that that might be the same with Lexus King. We all know is Brian Pillman Jr. because he was in AEW with that name. Um, and he looks so much like his dad. Yeah, like it's scary looking. Um, Great head of hair, by the way. Great head of hair. Right. I mean, he he moves like his dad, talks like his dad. Looks like I mean, it's 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 scary. So you can't hide it. You can't hide it. So, yeah, I think it's going to hurt him more than anything. I, and honestly, I mean, I wasn't blown away. I wasn't blown away by his debut. For whatever reason, I just feel like the NXT fans, I think it was maybe more so the fans. Like, it just kind of fell flat in the audience for whatever reason. Um, I mean, the dude can go. Yeah. He can go. I, I just feel like there wasn't enough in that match for him to be like, yeah, this is the guy. I think we're all just like so hung up on the name of Lex King. Even in the, the commentary, they're making a big deal about that. Booker T tried his best to make this sound like a big deal. Um, but yeah, I, I don't necessarily know if it hit that home run that like people expect it to. What do you think? I do not, not have a problem with the debut. I thought he did well. I thought the match was good. He, he, he was fine. I thought, I it was thought, something uh, bad. His opponent, uh, Chen got more offense than I thought he would. It wasn't a really quote-unquote squash match. Mm-hmm. It was somewhat competitive. Uh, Lexus King is not Michael McGillicuddy here. Remember Michael McGillicuddy made his debut? Like, who the fuck is this guy? That's, that's Mr. Perfect Son. They're not even acknowledging it? Until he got looked up with Paul Heyman and they explained, oh, who is this? What is this? We're going to rebrand him and pay honor, homage to his family, his father, his mm-hmm. grandfather. So I'm kind of liking the fact they aren't thinking we're stupid. They're going the route of, yeah, you know who I am. You know who my father was. You know what my father did. My father died when I was a baby. I don't know my father. So let me pay homage to the man who actually raised me. So they're they're throwing it out to us. This is Brian Pillman's son. We, you're not stupid. This is Brian Pillman's, Brian Pillman's son. But the fact that he had no relationship with his father... He doesn't want to carry that burden around, so he's going to come in with a new name. That's that's uh, the one big positive from it, though. I I would say I, I think I don't know who came up with that. That that's a good way to go about it. That's why but... that's why I like about it. Is they're not. He didn't debut as Lexus King. Oh, here comes Lexus King. Well, what do we know about Lexus King? No, he's saying, "Oh, Brian Pillman's dead. Long live the King." I'm like, well, okay. Let's see what you got, kid. I I do wonder if that comes from. Oh, it's not though. Does that stem from reality? Does he really feel that way? I doubt it. But I wouldn't. Right. I, mean, I doubt it because how do you hate your father for dying? But I, I had uh, thirty-eight years of mine, so I don't know. Right, right. I don't know, man. Like you know, I I think the biggest problem here is like, well, Curtis Axel didn't really look like his dad. You know, mm. Brian like, Brian Pillman Jr. looks like a. A reincarnation of Brian Pillman, his father. So they had to now. They had to talk about it. again. Michael McKelly, they didn't talk about because you could get away with that, right? But Brian Pillman Jr. had to, especially could, like you said, I, to AEW. Uh, I, I, or I just, I just wonder, like, because, like, again, like he also moves like his dad, so like maybe that was part of it too for me. Like, you know, I was kind of just distracted, like, oh my god, it looks so much like his dad. Like, this mm-hmm. is his dad. Like, I feel like I'm watching Brian Pillman again. Um. So maybe that took me out of it, per- me personally. 
and it threw me off that they're saying Alexis King. I, I think maybe that's going to be part of the problem. I think Brian Pillman, you, you can't outrun it, man. You you are your dad. Run with it. And I think, it, feel like that's it, going to be, be a better version of it. Catch up with him in the storyline wise, or the fact that they're going to keep ha- hammering home that he wasn't my father. He did not raise me. I'm my own. I'm paving my own legacy, and I'm just. I'm uh, more intrigued about Lexus King than I was about Brian Pillman Jr. at AW. 